modeler speed and um, the speed should be the same in library 2015 uh, so well this is more like the lack of modeler speed so let's have a look here this is a three mil object three million polygons and you can see the reason why it's three million polygons is because we've got high-risk objects now usually you wouldn't do that usually you would um, well, at least for some of the objects, like the carpet, you would sub -D it instead. But because this is an imported object, well, that's how it is. So, and also for pillows and curtains, it's kind of like hard to make those lower S at times, at least. Let's have a look at this object, uh, this carpet here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to deform it and I'll just click and drag and you'll see that it will take five seconds exactly five seconds that's a long time and it's just three million polygons if I copy all of these layers or objects rather to separate layers we'll see like that then take the carpet. Oops. Deform the carpet a bit. And okay, it doesn't take five seconds. It takes, let's see. Yeah, it takes one and a half second, basically. So it's much faster doing that copying that to a separate layer instead of having them all either either visible or as uh, one uh, as one layer could speed this up even further but I, i'm unsure how much of an effect that it has in modeler it's more of a big thing in layout and that is um, in layout you can speed this up a lot by putting on smoothing and, and uh, some kind of uh, threshold here, at least one, and also avoid double-sided. If you search my YouTube video uh, channel, um, if you search for the word speed, you'll get some, some other videos covering that. Um, but another thing I found was that I could actually take, I could copy this carpet and I could just say, Make a new object, paste that in. And by doing that, it will actually be even faster. Well, even faster is kind of like it will be faster. It's not that much faster, but hey, at least it's somewhat faster, right? So it's like that. Let's go here to uh, this is here do the same thing and yeah it's it's twice as slow actually so what you can do actually is to uh, when you want to fix that you just create a new object paste that in and deform it and uh, that will speed things up. You could also actually um, uh, go with this one. You can go like that. And um, let's see here. Go like that. And what I'll do is I'll, I won't cut these out, these polygons, but I will hide them. That's kind of like an old light bear trick. So in my case, I got these shortcuts set up. Hide selected and hide all, word hidden. Just the ones I use. So I'll just hide this and invert that. Oh, that was stupid. Um, let's try that over again. Hide and invert. Thank you. And go here for a wireframe. And uh, that will speed things up slightly. Um, so now it's 
that was basically real time. So I can like I can like uh, sculpt this stuff now, and uh, yeah, do whatever. Unhide, cut. Now I'll go to the original. So in layer number two, in the in layer number two here, I'll just delete that and paste paste back in that uh, modified object. Yeah, so that's it. That's how you can speed things up. So, yeah. So navigating and, and stuff, navigating in, in Modeler is not that bad actually, it's pretty good. But New Tech needs to look into speeding up uh, the translate tools so that we can actually modify geometry without without hassle. So anyway, just a few tricks there on how you can how you can uh, deal with it. So uh, I think that's it. If you can do save these things in as separate objects. But certainly, uh, many times, it's just more convenient actually to to have them all in one place, um, or at least temporary. You can also create proxy objects. That's also possible. So you could, for example, let's have take a good example here. Well, it's not a good example actually, but. Uh, yeah, let's take this as an example and we'll just save that out with the position and um, with this same position present. And you'll go to this one and say make that a proxy object of 20%, no, 10% actually, 10%. So it's kind of like a stand-in object in a way. So there you go. There you have your temporary object instead of instead of this one, you'll use this one as a temporary object or a proxy object. So um, yeah, I think that's it.